Welcome to a short video where we are going to take a look at how we can build ragdoll physics. So by the end of this video, this short video should I say, this is what we're going to be ending up with. So this is what happens if I hit play. I can just play my game normally and uh, I can shoot him obviously. And if I hit T, this guy should fall into the ground using those ragdoll physics. So here we go. As a bonus feature that I'm going to show you how you can do is these pushing around physics. Okay, so here is my hierarchy. Uh, we're going to take a look at that in just a moment. So first we want to go into game object, 3D game objects, and here is our ragdoll physics. So this is your standard ragdoll window. And... Uh, well, it's basically very self-explanatory. So first you need your character to be in a T-pose. And as we can see, we have him right here. By the way, you can download all of this template down in the video description. And what you're going to have to do manually is assign these. So for example, pelvis is this area right here. And uh, you can assign it as the root object. This one right here, SWAT hips. So what you're going to be doing is simply just dragging this, dropping it, dropping it into pelvis. Then we have left hip, which is left up leg. So you're going to do that. Well, you're basically going to ass assign all of these. And then you're going to simply hit create. So the one problem that I've been facing all day is that the collision don't work inside the body. So as we can see, I have two separate bodies right here. As and the way you can tell it's two separate bodies is because we have two separate animators right here. And you can also see two different body colliders right here. So this is the ragdoll collider and this is not the non-ragdoll collider. So after assigning all of those bones, you are going to be ending up with this. So if you hit play just like this, obviously nothing is going to happen. We just added our ragdoll physics and nothing is really happening. And that is because we have our animator right here still working. So if we just disable the animator, this ragdoll should be working. So take a look. It's a little bit glitchy, but you can fix the thresholds the way you want to. And if you want to preview it from falling distance, what you're going to have to do is first disable the animator, drag your character somewhere up here maybe, and here it is. Okay, so that is how simple it is to build the ragdoll physics. So the bonus feature that I've been talking about is by adding some bullet effects to the rigid body. So the way you can achieve that, so where we check hit over at where we cast our ray cast in here, we have a very simple line in here that checks if the hit component or the object that the raycast just hit contains a rigid body. So if hit has rigid body is equal to null, just add in some force. And a force is basically a float value. And the float value I found works pretty well with 800. So that is how simple it is to add some force into your ragdoll. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next videos.